Okay, so I am back out dumpster diving because I was in the area and I saw this, so I figured I would take it. This is a trash dumpster, but they've got a ton of metal in here. I said I wasn't going to pick up shred, but if I can make an entire trip off of one load, I will pick it up. And I know in my last video, I said that uh, it was all the way down to like four cents a pound or something. But I took some stuff in from the body shop because I kept them as a customer. And it's back up to six and a half, which still isn't great, but it's not bad. So I've also got a ton of shred to take in from all the micro scrapping that I'm doing. Obviously, the tailgate's going to need to stay down. I've got straps for that. But it wasn't justifiable to take all my uh, shred material in from home. So I will add it to this, and then that'll justify the hour round trip to take in shred material. I think I'm just going to lay it all down. Seems to make the most sense, and I can kind of stick stuff in between. Luckily, it is a nice, cool day. day when I used to work at a place called Heckinger's, which is like a Home Depot, before Home Depot and Lowe's killed them. Um, man, I put so many of these racks together by myself, like the really, really tall ones. Alright, so that's now wedged in there. things are actually heavier than the frames. kind of stuff needs to be packed in after the fact, but it's in my way. This one is somewhat under this one. Oh, that's not, yeah. That's gonna take a little bit of finagling.
one of those circumstances where it might have been better to take him out and then put him in from the end. Whew. I'm already worn out. I am not in practice anymore. And there's more down there. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice load for sure. Oh. That might be stainless or aluminum out there. this is all I'm going to be doing for a little bit here so you can fast forward to the end to see how it's all gonna look but man that is good wood I need I've got my bin full of burn wood from pallets already so I can't really use that I'm gonna do a fire tonight I don't know what this is that sucker is heavy. Man. piece of metal on the inside so it's getting turned in as such um, yeah standing on this board is not cool there's another one does not want to come out hour. Alright, there's so that one. I've got another frame in there. Have to get out and rearrange that stuff. sweater weather but now it is most definitely not I don't know how I'm gonna it's all interconnected like that is on that and that
So this is like a 45 degree angle here. And not very good for fitting. For a footing, I should say. All right, that's another one of these things. Along with this. Was in there that one was light this one is not okay let's see if i can yikes oh. yeah it's got that thing at it I think I'm gonna max out on this. That's already a lot of weight in there. All right, time to get out. I'm gonna organize this, I won't film it, and then I'll jump back in. All right, so I'm hoping I can put those A-frames right here. So first, so I checked these out. Other than even the thing inside, that is all either aluminum or stainless. So I'll have to take those to the other yard along with all my wire and non ferrous goods. Gotta be careful what I load there because I don't want it coming up. I never put a full thing on here. This was uh, more than I thought was in here.
would really suck if someone. Yeah, I can't. I gotta move this board when I get a chance. But it would really suck if somebody came in seven years to leave and put all this back. I don't know what I'd do. Well, got some peanuts to clean up. Probably stainless. I think this is aluminum. I'll take off what I can, but I don't know if it'll be worth taking this all apart or not, or just turning it in as is. Nothing's magnetic, so I should at least get clean aluminum, even though there's stainless on there. We'll see. Yeah, that's not much better, is it? It's probably better to stand on that than fall through those holes. This is all landfill. They're definitely gonna pay a lot lower price for the dumping fee with all this out. burning too. That is the one end. I'll go ahead and get this organized in there, take a look at the truck, and then look at that. So, she is squatting a little bit, but not too bad yet. I am going to put a few more here, and then worry about uh, how to strap it all down. Luckily I just found a bunch of uh, Harbor Freight straps, brand new in the packages. 
at Harbor Freight and I can use those to help strap it down ideally. The racks would have went on top and all of these would have went underneath. But uh, yeah, it didn't work out that way and I'm not reorganizing it. I'll just strap it down good. The problem is getting it so that all these don't slide out this way. And I've got tons of bungees, tons of straps to make that happen. Because I got to go home in the opposite direction of where the scrapyard is. And it's Sunday. This does not want to move. So. Hopefully tomorrow I will be able to. Again, there's nowhere good to stand. But tomorrow I'll take a trip to the scrapyard. Maybe film the unloading of that too. Yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, it's stuck on this one. So that has to come out first. Too bad. These are heavier either that or uh, no, definitely heavier. Oh yeah. That might be it. Actually I only see one there. Yeah, I can't just leave one. People are probably screaming, take the plywood. They got nowhere to go with this stuff and it just doesn't sell on Facebook or Craigslist. I've tried. It's a no-go in my area. Besides the price of wood has really come down. I had to buy some two by fours a couple of weeks ago and was bracing for the worst and I didn't think the price was bad at all. for a hop down that is everything got all the steel now to uh, organize all this and head home so there she is that is it actually not squatting as bad on the other side as this side I don't really like the bulge in the tire I probably got a nail in there so it is back roads all the way home so I think I'm gonna hit one more dumpster just because I saw a few little things in there, garage door dumpster. I'll throw those little pieces inside here and then strap that down good and be on my way. So let's take a look at this one. I saw the spring. So maybe I'll take the track. but that might actually be it. Take some more two by fours to burn. Track. Might be aluminum, but it's got 
the motor attached, so I'll go ahead and bend that up and throw that in the back too. Alright, see some wire. Empty, empty, all right, that's it. This was right next door, so didn't have to go out of my way to get to it. But I'll load that stuff up and that's it for the day. The next day, and I had to take some of this stuff out just to get to the non-ferrous items, put it back in there in a better way that I can strap this down and make sure that it's safe to drive on the highway because that's how I need to get to where I'm going. Got some shred material up there in the containers there and I've got more inside the cab. So you've got all these uh, frame rails and then the frame sections, the side sections are down below. I'm hoping for about 1,500 pounds between all of it. So I did end up taking close to 400 pounds off the truck. I'll talk about that in a minute. So should be pretty decent payday at six something cents a pound is what I got last week when I took in some miscellaneous uh, body shop parts. I ended up taking these pallets just because they're made out of decking boards and then I've got nice solid wood as the feet. So I don't know if I'm gonna end up using that storing it and using it or burning it but it was too nice to leave behind so the garage door opener rail there that is extruded aluminum i've got a motor inside that box there i'll cut the cord off turn all that in as non-ferrous when i go to that yard this here is about 80 pounds because it has one of those rods inside which is about at least 40 pounds and this clean one here is about 30 pounds i would guess it's stainless steel and it looks like aluminum extrusion maybe, some aluminum cast that's been machined, and then it's got some brass fittings on there. The only thing that's not non-magnetic is, or the only thing that is magnetic are the screws. So I'll take those out. I'm gonna clean this up, turn the stainless steel in as is, same thing with the aluminum and the extruded, but a lot of it is cast. So I'm getting, I don't know, 50 something cents a pound for cast and 60 something cents a pound for stainless. So that'd be a nice chunk of change there. This is all stainless steel as well. This box here, I believe, is all stainless. It seems to be hollow on the inside. Got a nice brass fitting there on the end. This here appears to be either aluminum extrusion or again, machined aluminum. I'll separate that out as well. This stuff here, this is stainless steel and these rods are heavy along with this rubber that's on the outside. It took me a couple of minutes just to get this little piece up so I can't take it off or I'm not gonna spend the time doing it i just i don't need to bother with that this here it seems to be a brush that is fixed on a spiraled coil all the way down and it's got a little screw here so i'm going to take this off and if this comes off easy i'll take it off and then just turn that in as clean steel i'm hoping they'll give me steel breakage which is about the same price as what they give me for aluminum breakage and that's 30 something cents a pound worst case scenario i'll just take it to the shred pile the next time i go and get six something cents a pound there's almost 200 pounds just in that right there things like i said are very heavy so this alone was worth it i'll probably get you know a few i'll get a few dollars for that six something cents a pound i'm not sure if i'm going to inclu include the unload in this video or the next one but nice payday for just hitting one dumpster i did hit that second one with just a little bit extra to it but yeah when i hit dumpsters like that i really enjoy it because i'm in and i'm out and i don't have to spend the whole day or night jumping around to other dumpsters but i am going to run out tonight again because i want to see if there's more of this stuff out there maybe they threw more out today and hit a couple of other dumpsters just to see what's out there since i haven't really been out for a while so overall it wasn't a bad payday at all i'll get all the shred material pricing for that and i'm with 1100 pounds you know i should get at least 60 bucks for what's in the truck if not a bit more this here was the nice payday i am going to probably get a couple of hundred dollars out of that i'm guessing just by the sheer weight of it and what i'm getting lately for the non-ferrous prices so that overall was great for just hitting one dumpster and then just a little bit extra in the second one so i will take it
so a pleasant surprise I'm getting nine and a half cents a pound for that load at 1600 pounds so $152 I don't think I've ever broken a hundred dollars here at this yard because they pay so little usually and just a month ago it was less than five cents a pound so I will definitely take double I know some people are probably gonna tell me that I should have kept that racking for myself but I don't need anything that substantial to do what I do at my house and I didn't want to resell it because I just wanted it off the truck. I didn't want to have to store it and carry it back and forth and just basically deal with all the people contacting me about it or nobody contacting me and having to send it here anyway. So for that reason, I didn't keep it or resell it. It just ended up being shred steel. Overall, a very good dumpster dive and good run.